Hey everyone, what's up? It's me, Cloud Gaming here, bringing you another Red Dead, or another video, but like the background, uh, the Red Dead. In today's video, it's the, um, video that I was promising you guys earlier today. I'm gonna go ahead and upload it today, obviously, because it's uploaded, but, um, it's basically do violence in games, call it violence. I'm looking at, um, I'm looking at basically the biggest source of what the, basically what the mainstream media uses, I guess you could say. Here they are. Um, gaming journalists, if you really want to call them that, that's what they're technically called, but on, if you really want to call them that, then okay. But, um, basically, the statistic that I'm looking at is, um, violent crime rates, um, since, uh, since the 19, since 1991, or 1990 actually, but the earliest that I, um, the earliest high that I saw was 1991, I'll get into that later, but, um, uh, let's go ahead and get into it, I have, um, I have all the facts and stuff written down, I'll have it in the description below, but, um, um, So basically, I'm using the not only the, um, crime rates of um, total, but I'm also using crime rates in the youth um, since the 1990s to 2018. Um, I researched both of them. Um, they're both um, FBI findings. And they're both. Um, Per 100,000 people, this is how many people um, have done the violent crimes, and this is not only murder, um, which was what my last main video was about, which is murder, but this is other crimes, such as, so it's murder, assault, um, kidnapping, grand theft Shit. auto, um, and other stuff like that, but, um, so what I have down is basically per 100,000, the highest amount for total crime per 100,000, um, 758.2, and that was all the way back, that was back in 1991, 758.2 per person, and the lowest was 361.6, which this was... This was uh, six years ago. This was 2014, but I have another one, which is more recent. Um, which, but still, this is basically halved before the first violent, quote-unquote, violent video game um, that came out. Which um, was in my last one, which oh, which was in my last video it was Super Mario. It was basically just to emphasize how wide the scope that they have made. Um, quote unquote, their quote unquote violent video games, how wide of a scope that it is, and it was Super Mario Bros, but, um, so the second statistic that they like to bring up is violent crimes in the youth, so, um, let me go ahead and bring this up, um, in 1995, 8,476.2 violent crimes um, per youth, which is basically per minor, out of 100,000. Now, if we go to the lowest crime rate of 2018, it is almost a fourth. It's 2,167.1 per 100,000. Per 100,000. So that is, that is basically one point. That is that is almost exactly one for it, actually. Um, give or take a couple. Um, but, so, since violent, since the quote unquote violent video games, um, since the first game that was actually had a decent amount of pixel, I think it was 8 bit pixels, um, crime is, crime in youth has gone by, down by almost a fourth, and crime in the older um, generation, uh, like it's not the older generation, but older, um, so I think it's like youth was um, below 18, so, and um, old, and total, no, 
youth was the one that I just covered, um, and then the other one was, um, all, all crime combined. That's, um, that's, and, um, above. So, that's anywhere from, like, I think it's, I think it said anywhere from 10 years old to basically a senior citizen. Um, and it was 8,000, and it dropped all the way down to, um, it dropped all the way down to 2,167 since video games have occurred. Um, or since video game, or since the, since Super Mario Bros, basically. Um, and on. So, that is, that, that in itself is a pretty large, um, argument against video games, but it still probably won't be enough, so I'm gonna go ahead and amplify this argument, um, I guess not an argument, I'm saying it, um, just to you guys, and correct me on anything that you guys find in the comments, I'd like to, um, check resources back and forth if you guys want to, uh, if you guys disagree, please do, um, tell me why, and, like, uh, show any evidence that you have, or anything like that, but, anyway, um, there's also the argument, though, of desensitization to the younger audience and how it's a bad thing, um, which I agree to accept to an extent. Desensitization to an extent can be a bad thing, but um, in some cases, it can also be a good thing. Um, so let's let's play Devil's Advocate. For those of you who don't know, Devil's Advocate is basically a game where or a thought exercise, I guess, where you basically either bring up something to start a thought-provoking argument, or you, you attempt to see both sides of an argument. So, for this, I'm going to say that, um, for, for the first part, I'm going to say that violent video games are not uh, desensitizing people. Um, people who play violent video games are not desensitized at all. And in this case, violent video games, or um, for example, I'm just gonna use instead of Mario, for example, because jumping on turtles doesn't really teach you anything. But violent video games uh, such as Call of Duty or Red Dead Redemption 2, or other games like that, can actually teach you uh, a great bit about the real world. Um, they can teach you about povertization. And or uh, law or uh, history in the terms of um, Red Dead Redemption and Red Dead Redemption 2. They could teach you about crime um, in the terms of almost all Rockstar games. They could teach you about war in the terms of Call of Duty, um, Battlefield, um, which I guess could teach you about World Wars. Um, and they could teach you about all this other stuff. And, um, if it does desensitize you, um, which again I'll be using for this, if it does desensitize you, then you are more likely to be able to use some of these things. Um, if it, let's, let's say it desensitizes you. Not only does it educate you about all this th stuff, th this education um, might persuade you to get um, get self defense lessons or stuff that could or lessons in or training and stuff that could maybe help you protect yourself or the people um that you love or maybe in the terms of war it might um encourage you to enlist in the military or something or maybe in terms of the crime and stuff it might and en en encourage you to maybe I don't know, give give some more thought to charity or stuff like that in order to make it possible for some kids um, or younger generations to not have to go into this um, basically fight or flight lifestyle where they have to go into a life of crime in order to survive at a younger age. Um, but also, what this comes at is by learning this stuff, you are you might be, be better able to react in a situation and stay calm um, in the midst of maybe um, your house gets robbed or maybe you see somebody on the street being attacked or harassed and you can actually react to that stuff um, 
without getting scared or panicking, which in life or death situation could mean the latter, could mean death. Um, but now let's say it doesn't mean sense desensitization. Like, let's say that like you, know, like, okay, you don't get desensitized at all. You still feel everything. Um, um, violence still affects you just as much, and um, that argument is completely irrelevant. Irrelevant. You not only are more educated in this stuff, in um, all these things, and more in um, crime and covertization, all this stuff. But now, not only might you um, be willing, more likely to maybe take these classes and defending yourself or people that you love or something like that, more likely than if you weren't desensitized, I might add. Um, but you might also have the ability to try and reason with these people. Um, maybe again, if we use a scenario, maybe you see somebody out on the streets, um, maybe playing these games could possibly give you more of a mindset into, um, some types of people who get into this. Um, and maybe be able to not just defend yourself from other people, but also be able to like, help somebody get out of that life. Maybe somebody has to do this, um, ha be in this life in order to survive. And you can talk to them, and you can say, um, and you can be like, oh, there's, there's other things that it might not be as good, but it's still a better life than this, and you're not at risk every day. And, and these are just hypothetical, of course, but, um, um, but there's also the fact that through this, again, you can teach others about this. Maybe you're playing games, or pl just playing games, and you have the idea to enroll in the military to um, help the world in Call of Duty or something, and you want to educate people on the experiences that you had, but you do not think that by playing violent video games you are going to be able to enroll in the military by any means. You're still going to have to go through the training and everything. Holding a fake gun is nothing like holding a real gun. There's the recoil, there's all these Get different things. Don't think that they're similar in any way. If that's what you think they, I mean, that's, it's not. Um, but maybe through doing this, through the information of what it's like um, in other parts of the world or something, you want to enlist in the military, go through all of those training to get ready for combat and through the world in many ways. Um, some battles in the military are fought for, um, um, for actual honorable reasons rather than just trade and stuff like that but anyway um let's say that you do let's say that you're not desensitized and you want to fight for you're now actually fighting for a cause greater than yourself which you could say that oh you said uh enlist in the military that's violent there's plenty of things that aren't violent in the military there's there's cyber um stuff there's uh protection so you're not actually being violent you're gonna die, you but you, you're basically defending and everything like that which is not causation him. it is Shoot. merely causation is because the video games water. did not cause um the violence but merely your profession did but anyway um with all these things with the fact that whether it does or doesn't cause desensitization, let's just let's just leave that out of here. Um, with the fact that crime rates have dropped and video game Three. sales have Put increased, and basically the wide range of quote unquote violent video games, which cannot be defined. Um, if, if it's to the media standpoint, depending on how it is described, to other factors like mental illness and other stuff like that, which if you want me to cover that in relation to video game violence, please do tell me down below. But all these different factors, um, we can't blame the single um, offense to violence as violent video games. It's, 
it is insane borderline insane i should say and the media saying this is borderline insane as the d the definition of insanity is doing something over and over and over and over again and expecting a different result and that is partially what the media has been doing first it was first it was the radio of all and then it was phone and it's still to an extent and then it was tv and then and now it's video games and even back in older times in older eras it was books and I don't, I just don't know when it's going to be enough to, for the uh, generation to say, okay, I don't understand this. That doesn't mean it's violent, or d that doesn't directly mean it's violent, or cause it's violent, but I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, I'll leave, I'll leave to my, um, my, I guess, technically, essay that I wrote about this. Which is a little more well written than I said it out loud. Um, I, if you guys didn't feel it, please do a like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys want to see um, the difference between um, video games and guns causing violence compared to how many of the school shooters, or I guess not specifically school shooters, but how many of these violent acts were caused by. Um, illness, um, at home issues, bullied at school, different things like that, because there are more crippling aspects of what makes somebody want to do these violent things than violent video games, and there are many of us who play video games, um, such as Red Dead Redemption, Modern Warfare, GTA, uh, Call of Duty in general, I should say, GTA, um, and different games like that who are not crazy and who are not psychopaths but are made out to be which is completely absurd and completely unreasonable but if you guys do want to see um the good correlation it. compared to causation of things like mental illness and other stuff like that please do tell me down below if you guys have any different facts and stuff that i didn't cover um, please do tell me down below if you guys disagree please do tell me um again tell me down below i like to have a civil discussion not an argument not a debate i guess a debate is a civil argument but just a civil debate i guess to um i guess differing ideologies um but anyway i will stop blabbering um follow my uh, social media is down in the description, and um, I'll see you guys in the next one. You really made a name Bye. for yourself, huh? Oh, point that somewhere.